Hi, this is Keith with another tutorial on the Behringer X32 Digital Console. And today we're going to explain how to uh, link up uh, your iPad with the uh, console, as you can see. Bang. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> so you need to download the uh, free proprietary software, I think it's called X32 Mix. Uh, you, know, you need the console, obviously, and a router. Um, right now we're hooked up to this router, so I'm going to change it and, and consequently change the, uh, the IP numbers and such of the console to link it up. And it's done like this. Um, so basically taking the uh, Cat5 goes into the back of the console. Right here. The remote control, Ethernet. And that cable goes into the output of a router. Taped, <laughs> taped all the inputs and other outputs. But, uh, <laughs> go. And the reason is the actually the iPad sending information to the router, and the router is exporting out of the router into the console Ethernet. Um, so the most important thing, and what I usually forget, is to go into the iPad and associate it to the router. Yeah, frustrating night so it's weird though. So the gun doesn't work. So find the router. There it is right there. Bang. That's done. IP number or gateway would be 192.168.0.1. And going into the console, it's a setup. Scrolling over, you know, scrolled over to network. Um, the two main numbers of concern would be the IP address and down below the gateway. The gateway basically is the IP number for the router. Like I said, you can see that number there. IP addresses the console number, which changes contingent off of the router. Boom. Um, and this is how my buddy Adam Foreman explained to me, which is brilliantly stupid and easy to remember. Um, the first three numbers uh, you think of is the state, your city, and your street. And this would be your house number. And the house number between your router your console, uh, it can't be the same house, so they have to have a difference of at least one number. So, um, this is my router, which is the gateway. Changing this by moving this knob right here. We scroll down to the gateway. We change to this edit number here to a zero the other zero and that's one which means we have to now scroll up the console number and change that to a zero and it's a two which is fine come back to my path go to setup and we want to change the console number to coincide with this console number, which means it needs a zero two in here, and at a one point two. So we touch the screen, which activates the editing. Come on, come on, baby. <laughs> come. This is supposed to be the easy part. <laughs> Stick it right. Come on. There we go. So I said we put 0 0.2, 0, 0.2, and this guy here, all right, one 
connect it probably. So sometimes you have to come up here and hit the assign button. <laughs> you start going through the monkey, I call it the monkey maker. This guy, and I did it. <laughs> I have no idea why. Um, when you take in all the numbers correctly, sometimes it's just a matter of hitting those two buttons until it finally says, okay, I got you. I guess it resets it. And now it's freaking off again. Beautiful. All right, well actually it changed the number. So we go back into this, hit it again. <laughs> changed the number from 100 to two originally discovered and hit it again boom there you go hit the assign button that time yeah it'll drive you crazy <laughs> but but now <laughs> go back into here and we can do this now we can do this <laughs> obviously, obviously, it does more than that. Obviously, uh, this application is great for if you don't have a monitor guy on stage, you just have a front of house guy. You can go up on stage and go to uh, switch over to, uh, to, to your monitors and, and mix your monitors from stage. And, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> not, not my smoothest video, but you get the idea. <laughs> Good night.